Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am back in the building for another podcast. The no new, well, it's not the no news anymore. It's just it's the Just Facts podcast. This is going to be episode one thirty eight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in here, man. For real, for real. You are now listening to the Just Facts Podcast. Let's go! And we are back in here to get into a couple of things. I'm going to try my best to keep this under an hour. Not too much. Just a few things. So first things first, all right? We need to get into the Chromaz situation. Her name is Chromaz, a Canadian model named Chromaz. So Chromaz, for those of you, I believe she's a rapper as well. So for those of you who don't know, Chromaz, who is a rapper slash model, I believe she's like an OnlyFans type of model. Not sure about that. I don't know. But uh, she went viral for basically saying nigga (laughs) um if you haven't seen the clip i'm gonna be playing the clip right now um let me see if i could like make this a little bit well i think that's good let me see uh let's see if i can make that a little bit uh let me see let me see let me see let me see Oh, let's see if this will work. Okay, there we go. There we go, just to make it a little bit. Oh, I think that's good. Okay, so basically, Chromaz, who is, I believe she's like Puerto Rican, maybe? She got, she got, she, she went viral for saying nigga. So, before I get into it, um, I just want to run down something real quick. Um, the word, not even just the word, Black American culture has constantly, 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 constantly been swagger jacked, mimicked, stolen, uh, and used in other countries. And a lot of that, I I would prep, first of all, I wanna preface this by saying that no disrespect to any other country, but a lot of black American culture has been stolen and mimicked and made for some countries to be its own stilo. Can't tell me you haven't seen uh, Japanese people doing break dancing culture or or uh, the UK doing drill rap music. Um, that's because of Black American culture, you know, um, and particularly with South American culture, as far as like Black people go. A lot of uh, different parts of South America are racist. Let's just call it what it is. A lot of Hispanic or Latino. Latinos are are racist. Some deny that they're even black, like Dominicans. They deny that they're black. They say they're Dominican and they say they're not black. So I can understand black American people being in up in arms about their culture being stolen by other countries that otherwise would think less of them. Talk down ab- about them. Not even just black American people, but Americans in general, but for the most part, black American people. I can understand that. I get that. And I can get 
black American people being in arms about, uh, about the word nigga. Nigga is American at the end of the day. Nigga is not Canadian. Nigga is not Canadian. Nigga is the ER or the, the A is American. That's American. It's, it's America's. No matter how, which way you splice it, it's America's. It's America's. So I can understand black American people being in arms about Hispanic people saying the N word. And there are Hispanic people who never say the word. They hate that word. There are Hispanic people who hate the word nigga. And on the, uh, on the flip side of that, you have your Hispanics who live in these, uh, uh, live in these, um, these ghettos, these, uh, lower, lower level of housing, lower level areas who say nigga, like it's going out of style. And it's probably, it's, it's probably black people around them that gave them the pass to say it, or they don't care. And it's like, they hear the word so much often and they're being called in niggas so much that it's like, well, I might as well be able to say it because I'm being called with and I hear it all the time. There's got to, there, there, there's got to be a, a, a it, this, this thing is something that will be debated forever because it's been debated in the past and it's been debated further, further and further down the line before that. So that was a little history lesson right there. Um, but let's get into the clip of what we're talking. They got niggas in Canada. Canada. Duh. There's, There's niggas, niggas everywhere. everywhere. No, 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 it ain't. No, there ain't niggas everywhere. Niggas, 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 niggas come from America. Because the word the niggas come from America. Niggas got nappy hair. Niggas eat pork chops. No, no, it ain't niggas everywhere. Now, you got that confused, lady. And you ain't no nigga. Now, you just using the word nigga, but you ain't no nigga. I'm and you can't nigga. that word. Man, Man you, you can't, can't my nigga be the devil. And you uh -oh. and you ain't no nigga. I'm a real ass nigga. You ain't no motherfucking nigga. You don't wanna be nigga. You don't know nothing about being. You don't know nothing about being no nigga. You can't sit. You can't call yourself. You can't be a real ass nigga. You can't sit down with your grandma and them and say you a nigga. I can't. With what? Sit down with your family. You can't be a nigga with your family. That's true. And you don't. And you don't. And now you move on. Only way you can be a nigga. Only way you can be a nigga. You got to reject your family's teaching. Cause all niggas reject their family's teaching. What does that mean? I know he's just trying to be funny, but there's some realness to some of the stuff that he said. He he just said, "Oh yeah, you can't. You can't be." You can't be a, a nigga around your family, AKA meaning you can't say, you're not going to say nigga around your family. Curl Baz is Hispanic. She's not going to say nigga around her family. I very much doubt that. She's not going to go to her mom and, and, and say nigga. She ain't going to go to her daddy and say nigga. You're not going to go up to your uncle, the aunties and say nigga, because they're going to check you. It's the truth. Oh, we, we don't believe nothing our parents taught, taught us. We don't, we don't, we don't value, value education. education. We, we don't, don't value working hard. hard. This nigga. No, nah, that's, that's, that's the nigga. nigga. She, she want to be a, she want to be an uneducated, miseducated woman. Man, man, you, man, man, you got privilege. And you got privilege. True. Man, you ain't no, ain't no real niggas in Toronto. Man, that's them free slaves. How dare you? How dare you? Come to Toronto then. Come to Toronto. 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 Come to
You don't even know my You're not educated about Canada. You don't know about no nigga. nigga. Can't talk back to no white person. You talk about Everyone knows American education is not worth education. I don't know why they're fucking talking about Canada. Now, see, I think I think there's something here about her being miseducated. She's talking about the American system, the American education system being the worst. No, sweetheart, you are uneducated about the word. What he's trying to get to without being in his character is basically saying, like, you shouldn't be saying that word. You shouldn't be saying that word. Do you know the history behind that word? You're in Canada. How many black people are in Canada? It's a short percentage of black. It's probably a short percentage of black people in Canada versus the amount of Caucasian people in Canada. What he just did right now was he gave a history lesson and said, hey, listen, do you know that slaves escaped from America to go to Canada so they could be free? That's what he was getting to. Um, do you, he was just basically getting into a history lesson there. Without he, but he was into his character so much that it was just like, okay, I'm into my character. She's already got me pissed off. I'm about to layer into her because she keeps on doing it and playing in my face. Man, man, shut your motherfucking ass up! You just talking. You couldn't stand to be a nigga. <laughs> That's funny. So after that clip, right? This clip right here. So it basically says uh, she's responding to the backlash she's facing after using the word nigga uh, in an argument against Charleston White. Uh, what it says here is that, do you think I need a pass to say nigga? When I say nigga, I don't mean a black person. Yeah, OK. Yeah, OK. You got to ex if you got to explain yourself. Sweetheart. If you got to explain yourself, you shouldn't be saying it. You shouldn't be saying it. You shouldn't be saying it. And whatever pass you have, you should have just kept that inside the circle where you got the pass from. I'm just saying. Okay, so, okay, so I've been seeing a lot of females commenting, saying, Men, Men just, just give chromas the N word pass because she's pretty, pretty mm. or because she's bad as fuck, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Bitch. Mm. Do you think I need a pass to say nigga? Do you think I need a pass to speak the way I would speak my entire fucking life? Do you think any real nigga or any real bitch doesn't have bigger fish to fry? Like, when somebody, when somebody tries to. I just hate, like, no disrespect to people from Toronto, but, like, yeah, the, not even the lingo, but the, just the, verbiage of how y'all talk just like it has like that confusing element to it when you when you hear a toronto person talk they just sound confused like they'll say like the way they say stuff is just like all right are you are you talk are you asking me a question or are you just like talking are you just are you just like are you just talking to yourself or something because she's talking like this She's like talking like this. Like, I don't know. To say, like, oh, don't, don't, don't say nigga, nigga you can't, can't say nigga, you're not black. black. It's like, it's like do, do you live, live for that word, word nigga? Is that all you fucking, fucking live for? Like, like why do you, you care, care so much? So much? Is that what you don't understand the history of the word. That's why they getting on your head top. That's why all these people getting on your head top. Obviously, there's nobody out in Canada who will check you on saying nigga. Obviously. It's nobody out there who will check you and tell you, hey, you know that, that you shouldn't be saying that word. You shouldn't be saying that word. The fuck you live with? That's fucking nigga shit. shit. The, the fuck? fuck? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Word. When I say nigga, I, I mean black, black person. person. I mean men or, or, you know, my, my friend. friend. When, when I, I say, say I'm a real nigga, nigga that means I'm, I'm a real, real motherfucker. Okay. That's good. Cool. If you mean in to say something else, why don't you just say I'm a real mf'er? Why don't you just say that instead of saying nigga? Maybe that might help your case more because if if you say nigga like it's going out of style, 
it's it's black it's always gonna be black people who are offended by hispanic people saying nigga but the way you explaining it is making isn't you just digging a deeper hole you just digging a deeper hole i'm just saying i'm keeping it real keeping it real on gp let's fuck with facts what the fuck and Charles Charles looks like he doesn't like his own people. people. Like, I'm, I'm proud, proud of him. Right now. He's, He's saying, saying, oh, niggas nappy, nappy here, niggas, niggas uneducated. What the fuck? Go check, check nigga, my nigga. What the fuck is going on? on? That's fucking That's fried. fried. I don't fucking go, 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 go around, around saying my, my people are uneducated. What the fuck? He moves like, like, moves like, like he hates himself. Real shit. Not even knowing what the brother, the brother is playing a character. He got you out your element. Whatever he's doing already worked. Ladies and gentlemen. Whatever Charles Dwight needed to accomplish has already been accomplished. She got her beside herself. He got her beside herself. Talking about he moves like he doesn't. Come on now. That man, that 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 man is doing fine. He did a Jedi mind trick on you, and you up here mad because people checking you and calling you out for saying nigga. Let's keep it real. That's my, my environment. environment. This is how I've been speaking my entire, my entire fucking, fucking life. life. No, you so, like, like, you no, know, you, you were five. You were not. You were not. You were not five years old saying nigga. You weren't 10 years old saying nigga. You wasn't 15 saying nigga. So stop that line. Stop that line. You got around a bunch of black people and they started calling you nigga. And then all of a sudden it just became like it started flowing through you like water. And it was just like, it's OK for, for you to say nigga because they call you a nigga. Be real. Be honest with yourself. Talking about I've been talking like that my whole life. No, the hell you have not. Stop it. I'm not, not saying, saying I don't. I don't, I don't speak, speak to please, please or offense. offense. You know what I mean. So I'm not gonna I'm walk on eggshells and, and, and you know pretend like I don't say nigga. I'm a real ass bitch. bitch. So you guys should be happy. I keep it real. I'm not one of those people, people that. Oh my god, god I said nigga. Don't, don't post that. that. Like you know what I mean. It is what the fuck it is. It is what the fuck it is. I'm not mad, but I know I. I know quite a few, quite a few, uh, you know, you got to separate the black, you got to, you got to separate black from nigga, but I know a couple niggas who will be mad at this right now. I know a couple niggas who will be mad at something like this right now for real, for real. Uh, but yeah, man, she just needs to, she just needs to learn the history of it and learn more about why any person who's American, because I'm sure it's, it's mostly black American people who are getting at her about saying the word. She need to learn the history behind all of that. You know, you need to go back and like do a little history lesson. You need to go find out about slavery and find out about the slaves who moved, who, who uh, migrated to Canada, who escaped from America and, and, and made it to Canada. You need to go do a little history lesson with yourself before you just start being out here saying that word. And I know that in today's age, the word nigga has been readily been acceptable to use because of, you know, the entertainment industry, music, every other rap song has the word nigga in it. At festivals, you see uh, black artists performing songs that heavily have the word nigga in it. And there are white people at those shows. There are Hispanic people at those shows. There are Asian people at those shows that say nigga. So I get it. There are television shows that have actors say the lines nigga. There are movies that have actors who are not black that be saying the word nigga. I get it. But you got to, you, you got to find some discretion. You got to find some discretion when it comes to that word because there are people who are sensitive to uh, uh, people outside of my color saying the word. So that's how I feel about it. So continuing on, um, I came across this on Twitter. So Speed Darlington, uh, apparently he's a social media person uh, of interest in Nigeria. So Speed Darlington got picked up by Burner Boy and his team um, because of which video? Let me see if I can find the video before I play this video of Speed Darlington's mom. So it's this video that got Speed Darlington allegedly picked up by Burner Boy and his team. 
Everybody, Everybody just get washed. They went and they got to snap the TV that year. But, 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 he no day after Bon approached his picture with the GDD. Mm. The next year, year in the same particular year, Bon had won grand. Mm. You understand mm. me? Mm. All I they do since is night. Mm. So I just the wonder. wonder. Bona boy, boy, this video, I they ask you questions. Question. Uh -oh. Don't get offended. Don't get offended. Question now, question I ask. Is that a bottle of How many oil did he drop? This, this, man got baby, this man got baby oil. This man got baby oil in his hand. Boy. Boy. This man got baby oil in his hand. <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy. You do you that, that there. Throw it. Eh, how many oil oh, yeah. they 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 run for your match? <laughs> bro, that's crazy. Bro, man, I'm, I'm asking you serious questions. Them say them see a thousand bottles of baby oil in your house, and I know say after you snap with the deal, you want grand. How many? Bro, I see magazine. You know they, you know they put oil here for my body before they go give me kini kong kini kong. I, they I just collect them off of me. You blow after you snap with PG. You was under his arm, sucking up to Black America. Bona, come to this comment section and clear something. We want so after that video, simultaneously, um, his mom made it. Speed Darlington's mom made a video pleading with Burna Boy to forgive Speed Darlington. Ah, this is where it gets serious. Good day, everyone. Good day, Nigerians. My name is Miss Queen. I am the little mother. I just get information that my son is missing. Speed Darlington is missing. His gate man called my family and notified my family that there's a video Darlington made and put on internet and about Bonaboy. So he notified my family that Bonner Boy came with his team mm. and they picked that enough wow. from his house. Wow. Please. Please. That is my only son. That is one and only son I have. I am begging my fellow Nigerians. Please, everyone should help me to beg Bonaboy. Bonaboy, please. My name is Miss Queen. Bonaboy, I'm begging you. My knees on the ground. Please, I am begging you, Bonaboy. Tampa, justice with mercy. Please. Tampa, justice with mercy. Have me so much. Forgive me, please. Mm. Boy, I'm on my knees. I'm All fun and games until you get snatched up. Forgive mm. Forgive Darlington. Forgive Darlington. Crazy. I am begging. Crazy. Nigerians, please come to Darlington's aid. This is crazy. Please. No, seriously. You people, all Nigerians, all Darlington's fans should join me to beg, to beg Bonaboy. Mm. Please. Bonaboy, please. Tampa justice with mercy. Forgive Darlington. This is me, Darlington's biological mother. I am begging. I don't know what to say other than mm. I am begging. I'm a mother. I'm a grandmother. I'm a mother. Please. He's my only son. Forgive him. Forgive him. I'm just asking for forgiveness. Please, Bonaboy, please. Please. 
please, I'm begging, forgive my son. Release him, forgive my son, Bonaparte, please. All that it is. You know, I, I wonder, is, is Speed Darlington like a, is he a, is he a comedian? Or, or like a comedian or a rapper or what? You know, like every single, every single person who has ever taken a picture or associated themselves with Diddy is getting made fun of. I mean, Burner Boy, like this Speed Darlington guy can't be the only one that's making a video about uh, Burner Boy, who is a, a social media influencer. What made, if this is, you know, I can only say that this is a, this has allegedly happened. I don't know if it's actually if Burner Boy had anything to do with Speed Darlington actually being, you know, taken. You know, if it however it may be, but I mean, what made it, you know, if it did happen, what made Burner Boy even want to go and go grab this cat if it's, you know, if this is like true? It's fun out here, please. Join me to beg the Bonner boy for the release of Darlington. Nigeria has come to my son's aid, please. Please. I am begging. I'm on my knees begging. I'm, I'm begging. I'm just begging. I have no words. I have nothing to say than to beg the Bonner boy. Bonner boy, please, I'm on my knees. May he touch your heart to release him. Forgive him, please. Forgive him. Forgive him. Forgive him, please. I have nothing more to say than to forgive my son. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on my son, please. Please, please. I'm begging, have mercy on my son. Have mercy on my son, please. Poor ah, boy, please. I am begging you, okay? Have mercy on him, please, okay? Have mercy on him. I'm not in Nigeria right now, please. Have mercy on my son. Tampa justice with mercy, please. Please. Thank you so much. I know you will listen to me. Please. Now, you know if he had anything to do with anything, right? His mom will... Burner Boy's mom will talk sense into him. If it, if it was, if he did have anything to do, I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going based off of what the video is telling me. And of course, uh, let me see if there's anything else on it. Quick. Um, I think this is another one. He has, an, he has another what video is that he that? made. Hold on. Let me see here. Do I want to show this? Let me see. Okay. Uh, this is another one that he had made uh, prior. Let's see here. Sucking up to Bonner Boy don't mean shit. I am Odogu. That's my language. Oh no. Odogu is masculine. Oh no. Name. Oh no. It's not a nickname. If oh, anyone no. is gonna claim Odogu as oh, a no. nickname, me. He didn't say that, did he? You dumb fucked in your oh. ass, motherfucker. Oh, no. You out here shouting, oh, don't go, don't go. Oh, no. Don't like, look at this punk. Did he, did he really say that? She's trying to be like us. She's trying to be like us. She's trying to be one of us. You not one of mm, us. Mm, mm. Because if you are one of us, mm, mm, you would have mm. known that Odoku is not a nickname. Go fuck your mother. Oh, wow. You are one of us. He said Everybody that? Everybody's tough in Lagos. <sighs> Everybody's a G in Lagos. Wow. Yeah. Come on my side. I'm G'd up, motherfucker. Okay. Everybody's tough in Legos. Everybody's a G in Legos. Mm. Come on my side. So I'm you was daring him. Motherfucker. Mm. Fucked in the ass, motherfucker. I ah, hear yes. sucking, sucking butter boys dick in my comment section. Come on my side. Come mm. on the road, mm. no stage. You know if he pass road, when he had a pass. Mm. Yes, at the past we are, you know the past. Mm. Everybody is tough in Lagos. Really? Come on, my side, you <laughs> fucking the ass, motherfucker. <laughs> you run that guy, I'm your guy, guy. Oh wow! Person. You come on the internet. He's talking mad tough in this one. I'm like, 
Is he a god? Man. Everybody is a G in Lagos. That Everybody is real. Is a G in Lagos. Wow. Come outside if you a G. That's great. You fucked in the ass, motherfucker. Mm. I'll wow. make another oil video. Nothing mega. Nothing mega. Hmm. He said he'll make another if oil. G, come outside. I mean, know the price where me pass. Huh. Fucking bastard. Wow. I'm like, do my ass. I am. Mm. Let me see what else I got here concerning him. All right, this is—I think this is another video to like explain everything. To me now is that Spidalitin Agui is allegedly being held at an undisclosed police station hmm. by the request of Bona Ball. So they said that they use Agui security guard, Spidalitin security, to set him up. Wow. That police use and take set them up. So they first arrest at the security guard and then later in line they come carry speedality. Mm. Now, if you remember two days ago, they said speedality went missing. And then I think yesterday, Bonaboy dropped some tweets. You understand? So if you go back, bless it, speedality is on top one or two about Bonaboy. Oh, yeah. Where they make Bonaboy in there, come and go use police, say they arrest them. Now, when I see the post for news, for blogs, I read under the comment section and then I just started shaking my head. Comment section like, freedom of speech is guaranteed, freedom after speech is not guaranteed. A lot of people will laugh. I mean, after the video, after making two videos about Burner Boy and tell him, it, say, it basically said, Burner Boy, you are not the Owogundu. Like, bro, I, I'm going to be honest with you. That second video, it. He he really talking. He is really talking tough in that second video. So I can see why somebody. I, I can see why Burner Boy would just be like, you know what? We 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 about yeah. <laughs> we are about to go. Get, yeah, I'm about to go. Yeah, I'm about to go. Hmm. It's like that, huh? Oh, okay. All right. I can see why. I can see why. Right. Now, to so Bonaboy, I just, just want to say this to you. Bonaboy, you are not an oppressor. You understand? Don't, don't join all these big men in Nigeria to start an abusing power. Hmm. You don't join them to start an abusing power. Me, I will never encourage things like this. First things first. Spidality don't insult me in any way. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Bonaboy is somebody that I love and I respect. Do you understand? Because him, you don't speak in mind, you come home. But Bonaboy, now, nah, he talks to you direct. You are not an oppressor. Hmm. If whatever things Spidality said to you, you feel like he defamed you, take him to court. Do you understand? Take him to court. Thank God you are influential, you have a lot of money, you are a big man. Do you understand? You can pay the best lawyers, take him to court. You cannot be joining, you are one of us at the end of the day, Bonner. You be one of us, you know, street guy. Don't let all these big men lie to the entire when they want to use power, they use their police connection. They take big people because of saying they say something. That's At the true. end of the day, the guy gave his own free speech. That's true. Free speech is that is talk. true. That is true. I don't care what he talk about you. That's true, but I you mean, understand. I don't at care. At the same time, like man, he was talking reckless just now. I ain't gonna lie. That video was right. <laughs> the first one was like, uh, okay, ha ha ha, funny. That second video, bro, he was talking mad hot hot you know what i'm saying mad hot you know the tough talk for real he was really talking like crazy like crazy crazy like you know come to my come to my side come to my side like man like really <laughs> you think because like i'm a big star i'm not gonna say nothing to you like or i'm not gonna do anything like come on bro come on like i get he shouldn't be like all of the, he shouldn't be like the oppressors, which is what this guy is saying. But at the same time, bro, I got to exercise some type of power to let you know that this is not a game. You when you speak on my name, it's not a game when I react. That's, I think that's what Bur I think if anything, allegedly, if Burna Boy did do this, that's what he's trying to like prove to dude like, hey. When you speak my name, you think I'm not going to say nothing. I will make some moves. I will make something. You know what I'm saying? I will I will create a earthquake. 
full of chain reaction for you to understand that my name is not to be played with. I feel like that's what that's what it is here. That's what it is, if anything. Honest, but it's not free speech. Now, now you can't decide. Okay, this is free speech. When this guy talk, he can't impound. He can't spoil my own name. See, I I get what he's saying with like free speech, right? But that free speech argument that works here in America. That definitely works here in America. I don't necessarily know how that is received in Nigeria. I don't know how that is received in Nigeria. But when you talk about somebody like Burner Boy, or not even just Burner Boy, like let's just say somebody is slandering a dragon DeVito and they are a social media influencer and they are like famous enough, right? You think they you think DeVito is just gonna let let somebody just slander him and not say like not say something or not make some type of move to make it be known that like their name should not his name should not be played with come on that you you when you when you speak bad things upon my name or put negative on my name and make a joke out of it what am i supposed to do just sit there and 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 do nothing Granted, he said, yeah, uh, if, if somebody is being, uh, if Burner Boy, if somebody's saying something negative about you, you should take them to court. I agree. But at the same time, I don't know. We don't know how long Speed Darlington has been into it with Burner Boy. Let, let, let's just put that, put that in there as, a, as another discourse. How long has Speed Darlington been talking bad about Burner Boy? How long? I'm just saying. It's for my integrity. We are then put to court. I will sue you for this. I will sue you for that. We will use sentiment a lot in this country. Do you understand? We use sentiment a lot. Bonner boy, I beg. I beg. I beg. I beg. If you are the one that is currently holding this fidelity, please take it to court. Don't be taking people to police station. You are not an oppressor. You are not one of all these politicians. You know, be a politician. You know the big men where they try to cover their secrets. Are you a big man where you want to cover secrets? To be streets like us. You understand? You know streets like us. Leave all these matters are there. If you want to run the right way, yes, you don't bear. So you are going to charge and go court. Meanwhile, this legality service are going to talk any hour. They tell you, me, myself, they don't watch me, don't talk any hour. They go. They talk any hour by a lot of people. Who should take him to court? I will never encourage oppression, even though it did against me. Even though that need to talk about, and even though me, me myself, no one or two policemen, I will not tell them that they should go and arrest anybody on my behalf. Hmm. Why would I do that? No matter the money I have, I will never do that. Take them to court, sue them. And mind you, Nigerian police, Nigerian police, to be honest, this thing of talk, insult me, I insult you, talk, I talk, I talk, and I don't pass that level. You have better things to do. You have better things to do. Seek kidnappers everywhere. Do you understand? See, now, as they, you people, I know police have a lot of things to do. Oh, okay, I know this. I know. There's cyber crime. There's people everywhere. stealing money here and there. A lot of people going through a, different uh, actual, problems. Okay. You should not be bothering see. yourself with the insult I insult you. And, need, and let me even add it again. It's in the entertainment industry. The entertainment industry is funny. Yeah. It's very, very, very funny. Yeah. So when they demand yourself lawsuits, mm. instead of one and they bother on themselves with all these small small things. It's true. Like, that they mention us, they don't they talk anyhow for their self. It's true. But I'm boy, I love you very much. I love you and I respect you. But I beg, if now you this guy, tell the police to their police and you carry the guy who calls. I beg, 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 I don't come to church at all. You understand? You know, you know, I respect you. I mean, personally, they respect you. But, bros, come on that thing for court. Charge, come on that thing for station. I need to die in court. You say you will not press your own drama. Anyways, peace and love. Don't play. Else, you come on love. Um, you know, currently, right now, today, I don't know if there is any update on uh whether or not uh this speed darlington guy is still being uh withheld uh 
yeah, I don't really, I don't see nothing. Hold on, let me see. As far as I know, he's still. As far as as far as I can tell, he is still uh being withheld, as they say. Um, but I mean, I'm on one hand, uh, if if like I said, if Burner Boy had something to do with it, um, that I'm I'm pretty sure this is just his way of like letting dude know like I'm not a game out here. I'm I'm not I'm not to be played with. My name is not to be played with out here. Um, but I get on the other hand, like, bro is just talking, bro is just, yeah, uh, Speed Darlington is just yapping, Speed Darlington is just saying whatever, just take him to court. I get that. Um, but how many times, like, I go back to my theory, like, how long has Speed Darlington been talking bad about, uh, Burna Boy? We don't know. So, maybe, just maybe. Uh, Burning Boy got sick and tired of him. It was like, you know what? I'm about to show you what my pool is like. What what my uh my reach is like. You said you you said in that video you you want you want me to come to your side. I came to your side, and guess what? I got you now. So uh, I, I'll I'll uh, uh deep dive into the story as more develops on it. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just move on. So the next part of this, uh, show has to do with Aiden Ross and a guy named Lieutenant Dan. I don't know if that, obviously that's not his government name, but Lieutenant Dan is a guy who has, uh, basically survived during a, uh, during the hurricane that's going on in Florida. Um, and he's been, he's like, I guess he tied his, uh, his boat, to, uh, to a dock or something like that. Let me see if I can find the story as quick as possible. Let me see here. Just so, just so you can understand, um, just so you can understand why this Lieutenant Dan guy is important. Uh, let me see here. Let me see. Lieutenant Dan. Dan. Okay. Okay. So Lieutenant Dan is a Florida resident. Joseph Milanowski. If I'm saying that correctly, Joseph Milanowski, a 54 year old Tampa resident locally known as Lieutenant Dan weathered Hurricane Milton aboard his small sailboat in Tampa Bay early Thursday morning. Despite the category three storms, powerful winds, Malinowski was unfazed, describing the experience as pretty mellow, even though his boat was repeatedly slammed against a harbor wall during the worst of the storm. I'm not, he said that I am not scared of anything. Uh, da, 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 da. so yeah, I guess that's the gist of, uh, who he is and why he's famous. Uh, it says as a storm intensified, Malinowski recounted how the wind picked up, causing his boat to crash against a wall in the Harbor, uh, to prevent further damage. He cut his anchor line sacrificing 200, a $250 anchor now resting in the bay floor. I was getting bashed against the wall, so I went out and I cut my anchor line to get away from it, he said. Despite the danger, Malinowski remained calm, crediting his composure to his faith. God told me to come here. He said ex he, said he, uh, he explained that five years ago, he left Colorado and moved to Florida. I've been in Florida for five years, stuck on the East Coast. Malinowski said, I found this boat for 1200 bucks. I bought it. I come to Tampa and guess what? Can't flood. Not today. Not yesterday. Um, so that's basically the gist of who Lieutenant Dan is and his compelling story to weather the storm, so to speak. So obviously Aiden Ross took a liking to his story because of, you know, 
what it represents for him to be able to survive. And regardless of what anybody says, you know, Aiden Ross does good things for people. Um, whether it be for his own gratitude or for just being a person who has a good heart, that is to be determined. Um, so Aiden Ross uh, was slated to give Lieutenant Dan a kick deal and a 100K boat. Um, a store, one story says that he wasn't going to give him 100K or... Uh, a kick deal after he found out that Lieutenant Dan had been arrested in the past for whatever crimes he was arrested for. So this was his response after somebody had told him, meaning somebody had told Lieutenant Dan that he wasn't getting a hundred K boat and a kick deal. Tell about Aaron Ross telling you he's not getting you a boat no more. He came to me. I never went to him. He offered it to me. I never asked for it. So then he turned around and he started singing about my history. Well, you should have did that before you made your offer. You know, if you really got your image and who you got working for you, you should have done due diligence and looked me up before you made me an offer of $100,000, sign on bonus, $50,000 a month with a $100,000 boat. That's and crazy. I don't want to let you go because I don't care about that. Right. You he took the money away too? Huh? He took the 100 k I took that as far as I know everything. Oh, wow. You know, and that's the thing. I mean, I didn't ask you for it. You offered it. I agreed hmm. to do what you asked me to do. You you asked me to, to uh, be on kick 100 hours a month. I agreed. I said, no problem. I'll do it. I'm down for that. We agreed. And then all of a sudden, next thing I hear and see on the internet is how you're disgusted with my, my history and that deal is done. So what about your history that disgusts him so bad? Because we, we all, all got, got history. That's Nobody a fact. Clean. I, I went to prison. I did jail time. But I had to tell you point blank God to my soul. I'm innocent of all the charges. I was charged with battery on law enforcement officer. He said I punched him in the nose. Mm. I never even saw the cop. Mm -mm. He beat the hell out of him from behind. And then I went to prison for a year and a day on a battery on a legal charge. And I never even saw him. But the thing is, this is where karma and God are real. Mm -hmm. The bartenders who started it all, the manager and the arresting officer were all witnesses. While I went to prison for five and a half months, the 44 year old bartender had a massive heart attack and sleep and died. Wow. Oh, my bad. The cop, mm. who was a street cop that used to wear the sheriff thing across his chest and had a gun and boots and you know, the military, mm -hmm. he's now behind the desk at the substation in West That's Bay, crazy. Lake Worth. So if you walk in, he's like, How can I help you? You know, they tell me that ain't the motion. Right. Yeah. And on top of that, looks like he's got cancer. Oh, my God. Wow, bro. Right. Karma will get you on the ass because you got to understand. True. Because I punch you in the nose and you know damn well I didn't do it. Hmm. Never saw you. That's crazy. Never saw you. Wow. Never saw you. 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 I gotta rephrase that. Let me rephrase that. I do, but I don't. I do because it's what got me blown up the way mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. It's true. But I'm not Dan. I'm not Lieutenant Dan. I'm not a Lieutenant. I've never been in the military. I never claimed to be. And I don't want people to think. But it's only, they only call you Lieutenant Dan because of your leg. You not having a leg. And in Forrest Gump, Lieutenant Dan lost his leg. We, I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, he, he, this this guy is a person at the end of the day. Everybody every, everybody has an identity. You know your name is your name is 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 more important than anything. Yeah. Are you happy about your gold fund hitting thirty something thousand though? You're supposed to be living your best life in Dubai. You you are. People don't understand. People, people, people don't understand life, bro. Talking about he need to be living his best life in Dubai. What is that? Her, her, her skewed perception of how life is when people get money is. Eh. This is just the beginning. I know, I know that's, that's right. right. Feel about Aaron Ross telling me all he need to do. His story, his life seems to be a his. His life seems interesting. All he need to do is just 
somebody need to put a microphone in that man like somebody needs to set up a podcast set up for that man and all he need to do is just tell his story bro. tell stories from his life and i feel like bro it, it'll be so many people that can relate to him for real for real honestly seems like a he seems like a uh uh a, a, a very humble man now getting into aiden ross responding to all of the stuff about you know saying that he wasn't gonna give lieutenant dan 100 uh, 100k boat in the kick deal i actually I messaged, messaged parents. parents i'm gonna, I'm gonna show, show you guys, guys the text, text at 4 a.m last night after i ended the stream, stream. Look what, what I said. said. Look, Look what, what I said. said. Hey, bro, dude, did, 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 did he see a boat he likes? Look. Hey, bro, did he see a boat he likes? Boat he likes? That's after I had his dream last night. night. So, so Dan, Dan is getting his boat and he's getting, getting everything. everything. So then we got, got people, people coming up to him in person saying, Aiden Ross, cancel your shit. What do you feel about it? Leave that man alone. I'm working myself out with him. We are going to make sure he gets the boat and the money and everything. And, and all, all you people, people that are saying, saying don't pay him, him everyone's got a fucking past. And, and I don't want people, people to say this. I already thought about what I'm going to say about this. this. People, people say, oh, now you're just paying, paying because the backlash. backlash. I DM this guy at four in the morning before, before the backlash surfaced the internet. I actually messaged Terrence. I'm going to show you guys the text at 4 a.m. last night after I ended his dream. Look what I said. Okay. And then he says something else here, I believe. I don't care. Everyone's innocent until proven guilty, first of all. Second of all, I'm allegedly, allegedly alleged for a lot of shit, bro. Like, look, look at me. Bro. Oh, okay. This is what his reaction was when he found out about the whole stuff in the past. Oh, okay. I see. You think I'm the worst human being of all time? Uh, I want to kill okay. me, all these trainees want to kill me and shit, bro. Like, like I'm going to be real with you guys, bro. Like, like, I don't, don't give a fuck. fuck. Like, like, until, like, until like, I see some facts and shit and proof, it don't mean shit, shit to me, bro. bro. Like, I don't, I don't care. So, everyone's innocent until proven guilty. My whole thing is like this. Why did the why did somebody on the internet really try to micromanage the engagement to make it seem like Aiden Ross wasn't gonna help this man? Like, dang, do people really hate Aiden Ross that much to where they they just feel like he needs to be he needs to be messed with just because he said something that somebody didn't like? Because it's like it's like it's like you know everybody has a past, bro. Big deal. Oh, he went to jail. Like, that's not his life now. Um, so my whole thing is like this. If Aiden is truly going to help Lieutenant Dan, then, you know, God bless him. If he doesn't help him, hey, man, I feel like Lieutenant Dan will still be all right, bro. It's a lot of people out there that care. It's a lot of people who have never met Lieutenant Dan that care about him very much and want to help him very much after you know the whole hurricane in tampa went on has gone on you know some people think his story is very encouraging and he himself is a very interesting person that a lot of people want to talk to so um let me see if there's anything else i can find about uh uh lieutenant dan as far as see because i think i seen something about uh i don't know i don't even know if it's true but i think i seen something about the, the gofundme getting switched from 100k or whatever the number was to um to something else and i, I think somebody was trying to like steal his go the, the, the money for the gofundme let me see there uh Mm. Okay, here it is. It says Lieutenant Dan may have some trouble in paradise. His GoFundMe goal changed by someone else and he found a merch link on his bio. The internet is not a real place. Why are people just messing like bro? Why are people just messing with this man? Doesn't make any sense. Why are y'all like why are people messing with him? And that when I gave you my, you took my phone, he added my TikTok, he added my Facebook, wait a minute, okay, he added his TikTok to the iPhone, and I thought you guys were giving me that iPhone back, and then he, right before we were leaving, he goes, oh, give me that iPhone back, and I had to actually grab it out of the hand and I went to shut down the TikTok, 
because he had my, my account, account on, on the freaking iPhone. It is. So, so I went and uh, this just tried, tried to undermine, undo mine, and, and I, don't I don't know that you could get, get that shit back. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what, what, how did he, how, how did, did the all day day in my bio, bio there was, was a link to a clothing line, line that had pictures of my face on shirts. There, there must have been how many of them. I don't know anything about this. I don't know where it came from. Somebody added that shit to my TikTok. But you think that he would do it though if he's the one? Ha, but you would think that yeah, no, but like that has been that has been done has been for him. Yeah, everything is for him. But you say this is all Everything has been for you. He's still the guy who tells me shit and I'm the one that does that. Listen, I got a lot of I got okay, this is me. All right. I don't hear from you ever. Ever. I mean very rarely do you stop by anywhere. And the last couple the last I don't hear from you. Crazy, bro. You gotta, he, he gotta stop letting, you gotta stop letting people take advantage of you, bro. Get the right person around you, and just be watchful of everybody, because new people are gonna come around and be around you and just wanna, just take from you. Ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Very sad. Very, very sad. I think this is a longer video. Why is it bad? What, what is, is he even telling you? you? Oh, no, nobody tell so basically, he was talking to his team, and so he found out somebody had changed the GoFundMe stuff from 100K to 40K, whoever it may be. And they also added a clothing link or website or something like that so like i said i feel like if you can't if you can't trust somebody just take them off of your team and just disassociate yourself from them because you're you're getting a lot of this fame and a lot of like eyeballs and engagement on you and you just got to be watchful because everybody ain't ain't here for your best interests lieutenant dan so hopefully you can learn from this and just move better and get the right people on your team who are there to help you grow as a person and as a brand. And that's all I got to say about it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I want to get into my, uh, my final piece of, uh, information. I was going to make this a little bit, uh, extend this a little bit, but I don't know. Um, uh, so I came across a video on TikTok about Kevin Hart. Um, uh, in which talking about Kevin Hart and that whole entire, uh, ordeal with his, his former friend, you know, pulling some type of, uh, some type of, uh, extortion against him. Uh, I just want to get into it. Let's go ahead. Mm. This year, it seems like we're finding out that everything that Cat Williams has said about Kevin Hart is turning out to be true. Really? They'll remember back in 2018 when Kevin Hart got caught cheating on his wife and he said that his friend was trying to extort him with a secret sex tape recording. Mm. This is Kevin Hart's former best friend, Chase T. Jackson, who he claims was trying to extort him for money mm. over that sex tape. Hey, I remember that, and that's that same. That's around the same time he had gotten into a car accident too. Hmm. I definitely remembered that. How many of y'all know, know though that he was actually exonerated of those charges oh, three years really? ago? And, and it, it turns, turns out that Kevin Hart made the entire, entire thing up and was whoa. lying about the entire incident. Are you serious? What? So Kevin Hart lied about his friend using him for extortion. So basically what you're telling me from that is that Kevin Hart actually for real deal cheated on his girl and used his friend as a way to get out of that. Huh. That is wow. Boy, Hollywood is it what boy Hollywood is a evil place. Hollywood is a evil place and you should never aspire to be in it. Wow. Mm. 
And you would think after accusing your ex-best friend of 12 years for doing this thing that got him blackballed, got his reputation ruled, and cost him millions of dollars, that you would issue a public apology, right? Yeah. No, Kevin Hart didn't even acknowledge it publicly, and now he's being sued. Are you he let his ex best friend take the fall for his BS, uh-huh. and now it's going to cost him $12 million in court. He also owes this man a public apology. Nah, that's crazy. Cat Williams said 2024 was going to be the year of truth, and we've been a whole lot of it. Has been right on a lot of stuff, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. It says, according to the documents, Jackson is seeking damages in excess of $12 million to be specifically to be determined. When the case goes to trial, plus legal costs and fees and the removal of all the false statements in Hart's docu-series. Oh, yeah, he did do a documentary. I forgot about that. I sure did forget about him doing a. Kevin Hart did do a documentary about the whole entire thing. After the extortion claim surrounding the sexually suggestive video emerged, Hart apologized to his wife and kids in an Instagram video. I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a target on my back, Hart said at the time in 2017. And because of that, I should make smart decisions. And recently I didn't. He added, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I am or claim to be in any way, shape or form. And I made an error in judgment and put myself in a bad environment where only bad things can happen. That's crazy. He did all of that rah-rah. And then Buddy went and basically got the charges, basically got everything like exon, like exonerated because he didn't do it. The case proved that he didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do no extortion of any kind. And all he's asking for is an apology. And Kevin Hart couldn't give him that apology. So now he's about to sue him for $12 million in damages, which he's rightfully so in doing because you, you basically ruined that man's, you ruined that man's comedy career. He doesn't have a comedy career anymore. He is probably, I'm sure he's blackballed from the industry because of that, which he had no, he had no business or ordeal in which you made up to do to him. It is a cold world out here. You should never, ever, anybody who is aspiring to be in Hollywood should never do it. It's too many bad stories. It's Hollywood is hell town. Hollywood is, is hell. And you should never want to be in it. You should never aspire to be in it. You should just go after what's... You should go after everything you want that is reachable in your own way. Which, by that I mean, we're independent people. They made cameras and boom mics and, and ways to write movies and scripts and and make your way without having to ever seek the validation of Hollywood or seek the validation of the, of, uh, the music industry. So you should just go after your dreams in your own way and be able to make it look at, look at all these places in America where you can be famous. You can become something without ever having to leave your state. It's possible. Shame, like th- th- this. This is disgusting. I feel sorry for dude who who got accused of of all of this stuff. And then and then there's a whole documentary on it. I'm sure you can still find that documentary somewhere, man. It's disgusting. That is the end of this podcast. Um, that's all I got for you. Um, I'm gonna see you on the next one. Y'all take it easy. Peace and love, man.